Fifth grade lesson 47. This is on simplifying mixed measures, okay? What I mean by that is this. So for example, what if I said that John is five feet four inches tall? Now, I used FT for feet as a um, quick abbreviation and N I N for inches, okay? If I told you that John was five feet and four inches tall, Okay, uh -huh. then I asked you this question. How many inches tall is John? Now, uh, we have four inches, but then we have five feet. So we need to convert this five feet into inches. Do you know how many inches is in one foot? 12, right? Very good. So there are 12 inches equals one foot, uh -huh. right? And how many feet do we have? Five. So what should I do with that 12? Uh, five times 12, right? Yep. I could do 12 times five, or I could go 12 more equals one foot, 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 and that would be five feet, and we would add up all those 12s. But I like your idea better because it's quicker. So that's exactly what we're going to do. 12 inches times five, and we would end up getting five times two is 10, Carry the one. Five times one is five, plus one more is six. So how many inches is in five feet? 60. Okay, so this would be five feet, which equals 60 inches, plus I've got my four inches. So how tall is John in inches? 64 inches. Very good. So your answer would be that. You got it? Okay, let's try another one. So what they're doing is taking mixed measures Mm -hmm. Something with feet, something with inches, and then trying to discover how much all in inches. Okay, let's do another one. Thomas ran a quarter of a mile in one minute. I'm going to use men for minute. One minute, 15 seconds. I'm going to use an S for seconds. Okay, one minute and 15 seconds is how long it took him to run a quarter of a mile. Now, they're asking me, what was his time in seconds? Okay. So, what am I trying to, what do I need to know? There are 60 seconds a minute. Very good, Eli. 60 seconds equals one minute. Okay? So, we have one minute up here, which is really, how many seconds? 60. So, then I have 60 seconds plus this 15 Seconds, and how many seconds did he run a quarter of a mile? 75 seconds. 75. 60 plus 15. 75 seconds. Very good. You get it? Uh -huh. Kind of simple, but you got to make sure that you're using the right conversion, making sure you're doing it right. Okay, last one. The watermelon weighed three pounds. Now, the abbreviation for pounds is LBS. Don't ask me. <laughs> Where they got that from, it has something to do with the Latin root. Okay? Okay. That means pounds. Okay. okay. Three pounds and, let's see, eight ounces. Eight. I'm going to put O-Z. And that Z, I'm going to put a line in it so that everybody doesn't think that it's a two. Okay. Okay? That's kind of what people do. Okay? So, it, the melon that they weighed was three pounds, eight ounces. Now... Uh, they want to know how many ounces does the melon weigh? Well, you don't know this probably, okay? Mm -hmm. But there are 16 ounces equals one pound. It's just pound, not pounds. Uh -huh. Okay, so 16 ounces equals one pound. So how am I going to figure out how many pounds would equal ounces? We could... 16 times 3. Excellent. Okay, because there's three of them, we would do 16 plus 16 plus 16, or 16 times 3. So I'm going to do that. 6 times 3 is 18. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 more is 4. So, 3 pounds is 48 ounces. Okay? So we have 48 plus 8 more ounces, which gives us what? 56. Very good. 56 ounces is how much that wet, that um, melon weighed. Got it? Uh-huh. All right. Good job. You're done. That's lesson 47.